So, uh, hey, welcome everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us again for an, on another episode here on Tech Thursday. I think it's become the norm now, Tech Thursday, and rightfully so. Today we're talking about technology within the ambulance and the vital groundbreaking uh, initiative and transformative uh, systems that we employ within the ambulances to provide high-tech pediatric care within the telemedicine field. So telepresence on our side at Cape Medics consists of, of two items, uh, telemetry and uh, telemedicine. And that really is the linking of both systems together so that we're able to transmit our data to, to anyone. And primarily along those lines uh, with telepresence is transmitting that data to the control room so that they can forward it on to all the applicable people. And one of the big things and the biggest piece of equipment that we currently use for telemedicine is the Corpals defibrillator and Corpal system more, more effectively because Corpals allows us to transmit all of its parameters and data automatically onto, onto their platform, the Corpals conference platform, which allows a multitude of invited people, be it a specialist doctor or a uh, or, or the control room or a paramedic or an extra set of eyes that are needed to needed to watch it to to see it at all times. In conjunction with the high definition cameras that we have in the ambulance, this truly has the ability to for us to have a presence within the ambulance so that we can be able to transmit that presence to our control room and further afield so that our, these poppy compliant uh, presence and camera is available to all the specialists out there. So once we, once we have all this data, it's all sent to our control room and it's all consolidated into one a single interface. And this allows the specialists out there to have a single platform that they can look at to be able to see a multitude of information, whether it's live video feed, whether it's uh, telemetry out of, uh, out of any monitors out there, ventilators or the syringe drivers, we're able to consolidate everything and provide that single picture for everyone to see. I think one of the, one of the biggest things that Cape Medics and the 1CC Foundation has done very well was incorporating telemedicine, telepresence and the whole telemetry package within emergency services. And we all know, we've said it for a few times now, it's the first in the country that we know of that where telemedicine and telepresence play such a vital role. And this all came about because we had a conversation in Nelson Mandela Children's Hospital and they indicated that these are some of the complexities that are around with emergency services right now. Um, they not knowing the condition of the patient, they not knowing um, the time it's taking to get the patient to them, they're not knowing what treatments are available and the condition of the patient en route, and they're only really getting a picture of the patient or starting their treatment rationale once the patient arrives at the tertiary specialist hospital. So telemedicine has allowed us to be able to, to spread our wings and get and attack all of these issues one by one and be able to deal with it and be able to give them the full picture from the time we, receive, we, we arrive as, as a transport team at the requesting hospital all the way to the receiving hospital. And really it's a true bed to bed facility where from one bed to another bed, we're able to get that care going through telemedicine. So I think, I think in ending, we, we basically wanna say Telemedicine has been out there in the world. It's been revolutionized. We've been able to be the first in Africa to be able to bring telemedicine and telepresence within the EMS field in Africa naturally. But more importantly, the highlight of this and one of the things we want to say is that telemedicine costs a lot of money. Data fees, specialized equipment. We, we had to reinvest into core pulse instead of using our standard defibrillators because of the communication aspects that are associated with it. And even a simple thing like data fees, you know, in South Africa, data fees are quite expensive and it costs us a huge amount of money to send packets of data and video everywhere all the time when we're transporting. So yes, I think if, if we're ending this video today, we say 
like follow share and obviously we'd love you to donate to the 1cc foundation so that we can continue uh, upgrading and being able to provide specialist neonatologists and and pediatricians this telemedicine capability so that they can extend their care to the children out there and we'll see you on the next tech thursday where we'll discuss another aspect of our ambulance and the technologies around it and i'm sure telemedicine would be integrated into that one as well but thank you and once again like follow share one cc foundation cut